Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L. O. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to set up multi contact libraries. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk. This is my dark theme. If you're interested in this theme or my light theme, I have a link below in the description. You can download it for free. All right, so as many of you already know, there are several ways to pull up an instrument inside of Cakewalk. I want to show you the fastest way to do this with the multi timbral instrument from Contact. So uh, I can right click in this track view plane here and go to insert instrument, or I can go to the plus sign and add an instrument that way. You can even go to this plugins and then go to instruments and you can search for contact if you want to, unless you know where it's at. Usually it'll be in your synth area or it'll be in uncategorized. So if you can't find it in any of those places, just type in contact and it should show you where it is inside of your instruments. And if you use this way, it gets a little confusing for some people because you're basically inserting a soft synth into Cakewalk and it gives you all these options, which uh, kind of throws people off. I don't usually like to use this way unless I'm doing something in particular. So I'm going to show you a faster way to get this set up. I usually hit the plus sign. That's the easiest way to pull up the instruments. Go to instruments, hit the drop down, go to your uncategorized. Uh, if it's not in there, if you don't see your contact in there, go to synths and you should see contact. And then what you want to do is go down here to where it says advanced. This little advanced button, click on that. Create a folder. I like to create a folder. You don't have to create a folder, but it makes more sense to me to create a folder so you'll be able to move that folder around. Create a folder, and I'm going to do uh, instrument per track out. What this is going to do is create instrument tracks for contact, and it's going to give me 16 of them because that's the amount that contact can actually handle. So I'm going to create. I'm going to hit D on my keyboard to get rid of the docking station. So here are all the contacts that it just created. I'm going to hit on one of these, right? and this is what contact will look like. If you don't see this option for your outputs, usually you have to go up here to the top, this little three boxes, click on that, and it gives you an option for output. Make sure this is checked, right? So if you want it just to have outs and you go through and individually find out where you want the outs to be, you can go to the outputs down here, hit this plus sign, and then you want to say how many you're going to use or you're going to need. You can go to 16. It's going to do stereo tracks for those 16. Uh, and it's going to uh, ascend output. So basically, it's going to go, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And basically, this will delete what's on there currently. And if you want to make this into your default configuration, you can click this one as here and get that set up. Right. And then once you finish setting that up, you can save it uh, on this section here. You can just go to save as a preset and it'll save it as a preset inside a contact. So what I want to do is show you a faster way to do all, instead of doing all that, just to set it up and get everything going. So I'm going to use this cello ensemble as an example. I'm just going to double click on it and it's going to open up. All right. And this cello here gives me six options for articulation. So I'm going to make six different ones for this same exact cello ensemble and make more. So I made the first one on here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have six of them over here now, right? So usually the conventional way is to kind of go through and you scroll down and you change this one to stereo two and, you know, it goes out three and four, but I'm going to show you a faster way to get this set up. So what I want to do is go down here to where it says presets slash batch configuration. Click on that. And you want to go to this batch functions and the first option here that says clear out the section and create one individual channel for each loaded instrument. Click on that. So now all of them are sent to its own channel. And as you see, the outputs are already set up. So now the outputs are going to the instruments over here. All right. So what I want to do now is make sure that each instrument is playing something different. So the one first one is going to be playing sustain. So I'm going to minimize this one. This one is going to be playing the fourth piano. So I'm going to minimize that one. Surfernado. I know I probably butchered that name, but I'm going to do that one. <laughs> uh, we're going to do staccato. 
for the four. Scroll down, we're gonna do the tremolo. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna do the pizzicato for the last one. All right, so now all of them have their own sound set up on here. And what I wanna do now is just let you hear them uh, as they're set up. So this is the first one, the uh, sustains. All right, and we're gonna go to the next one. Tremolo. And there you have it. So all of them are on their own individual channels. We can set this up and name it just cello. So let's go to the folder. Let's say we name this cello, right? And let's remove the rest of them because we're not using them. Control and D and I'll delete those off of there. Now that we know the easy way to set it up, I'm gonna set up one more for you really quickly. All right, and if you're enjoying this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video itself. So that'll help YouTube to push this out to other people so they can learn how to actually set up contact inside of Cakewalk. But let's keep going on and drag it into that folder. Once you see the box around it, you know it's gonna go into that folder. So now we have our cellos inside here. Let's name this strings. All right, so now we have strings, we have our cellos. Let's add another contact. So I'm gonna add another contact and create. I'm gonna close this one out. This is the first one, the cellos. And I'm gonna click on this to open up the instrument. So this time what I wanna do is just do like a string ensemble. So I'm gonna do this string ensemble here and I'm gonna do the same thing seeing that it has six of them on here. Actually, let's change that up. So I'm gonna leave the ensemble, viola ensemble, and I'm gonna do a violin ensemble and I'm gonna do a double basses ensemble and let's do a harp. All right, so what's that? One, two, three, four, five. So there's five of them on here. So now we're gonna do that same thing we did before. We're gonna go here to where presets batch. We're gonna go to batch configuration and we're gonna click on the first one and it's gonna load those up and it's gonna rename them. See, string ensemble, viola, violin, double basses and harp. So now as you see, all of them have their own names. They're all set up and all ready to go. So I can go to the first one I want you to see them, so uh, let's minimize them here. All right, and that's the ensemble. That's the violas. That's the violin. That's the double basses, and here's the harp. So all of them are all separated, all ready to go. And it's much, much more quicker than, than doing it the conventional way by clicking in here and trying to set everything up. This is to me the easiest and fastest way to set up contact inside a cakewalk. All right, so now that we have that set up, we can actually remove the rest of these on here. And I'm gonna do a control and D and delete those. So now I can just right click on here if I wanted to and just move it to the folder and just go to strings. So now we have the, let's say, ensembles, and we have our cello. So now we have our ensembles and our cello, and this is, like I said, the easiest way to set everything up. And to give you a bonus on here, if you're using contact and you wanna save some of your CPU, you can hit on this little button here, this little archive, and what that'll do is shut off contact for those instruments so that it's not using any CPU uh, and they're all still loaded in here. So if you had a whole bunch of different strings in here and let's say you were just making a whole bunch of templates, well, now you have your string template, set everything up. So now that everything is highlighted, if I hit on the, the number one right here, right click on it, it'll give me an option that says save as track template. So you can even save this as a template inside of Cakewalk. So you don't have to keep going back and forth and creating these over and over. You can just make one on here. I think that's really cool, really easy to set up as you see. 
and you can get a whole lot of things done a lot quicker this way uh, inside of Cakewalk. So if you turn off the archive, you'll be able to play. If you turn on the archive, you will not be able to play. No sound. All right, and that was me breaking down contact inside of Cakewalk. I hope you really enjoyed this. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and it'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are interested in making beats inside of Cakewalk, I have a whole bunch of tutorials, and I even have a series that's called Freeware Cookup, which is right here. Just click on that series, and it'll teach you how to make beats inside of Cakewalk. I hope you guys enjoyed this, like I said. And once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. Till the next time, people. Peace.